Hello. Here's the problem of pipes filling in the swimming pool. Okay. This is similar to one we had with two pipes, but this time we have three pipes. Let's look at the problem. An indoor swimming pool has three pipes which can be used in combination to fill the pool. Pipe B fills the pool five hours faster than pipe A and four hours slower than pipe C. If pipe A and B operating together fills the pool in the same time as pipe C, find the time required by each pipe to fill the pool alone. Okay, so now there are three pipes and they have their own speed of filling the pool. Pipe B fills the pool five hours faster than pipe A. So let's say pipe B fills the pool in X hours. Then pipe A four hours slower than pipe C. Okay, pipe B fills the pool five hours faster. That means pipe A takes five hours more. So pipe A should take X plus five hours, right? And four hours slower than pipe C. So pipe C takes four hours slower, right? So B, pipe B fills the pool five hours faster than pipe A. Okay, so if it is X, it is X plus five and four hours slower than pipe C. So that means five pipe C is fastest, right? So it takes much lesser time. So it is minus four. Correct? So that makes sense. So let pipe B take X hours. In that case, pipe A will take X plus 5 and pipe C will take X minus 4 hours. So correct? Now we will again check the rate at which, you know, rate is, understand like this, if pipe B fills the whole pool in X hours, then in one hour, how much pool will be filled? 1 over x. Do you understand? So that is called the rate at which we are filling the pool using a pipe. So rate for each is 1 over this number. Okay, 1 over the total time taken. Do you understand? So rate of rate at which these pipes are filling will be 1 over x plus 5 for A, 1 over x for B and 1 over x minus 4 for C. Okay. Now the condition given here is if pipe A and B operating together, when these two operate together, fills the pool in the same time as pipe C. So that means this time and this time is same. So what is the time when the, these two pipes fill the pool together? It will be 1 over x plus 5 plus 1 over x should be equal to 1 over x minus 4. Does it make sense? Yeah. So again, look into it. If pipe A and B operating together fills the pool in the same time as pipe C, how much time will pipe C take? Or you should see in one hour, how much will pipe C fill? It will be filled 1 over x minus 4. In one hour, how much will these two fill? 1 over x plus 5 and 1 over x respectively. Added together is same as that of C. Correct? Yes, there you are. Now, first part get rid of denominator no fractions that means you got to multiply each and every term here by x plus 5 times x times x minus 5 and then simplify it right so when we do it so we get here we get x times x minus 4 plus here we get x plus 5 times x minus 4 And there we will get this times this, which is x times x plus 5, right? The denominators will cancel out, okay? Because we are multiplying both sides by the term x plus 5 times x times x minus 4, correct? So this is what we get in the numerator, right? This is how we get rid of the denominator and we translate our fractions into a linear kind of a expression without fraction right a polynomial I should say a rational into a polynomial function okay now we will expand and simplify so when you expand it you get x square minus 4x plus x times x x square minus 4x 5x that is plus 5x 
and 5 times 4 is minus 20, right? Is equal to x squared plus 5x. Is that okay? Correct. Now we'll bring the terms to one side. So we got x squared x square x square and this x square will cancel out with one of these so we are left with one x square here now minus 4x minus 4x is 8x and 5x 5x will cancel out so we'll have minus 8x and then in numbers we get minus 20 equals to 0 I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to do if you see the equality we got 5x here and 5x they kind of cancel out and this x square and this x square will cancel out. So we are left with 0 here. And so we can simplify this to that expression. Correct? Now here what do we need? We need to find product and sum. We need two numbers whose product is 20 minus and p plus q should be minus 8. Correct? So 10 times 2 should work out, right? So if you take negative number is bigger minus 10 and 2 when you add them you get minus 8 right and when you subtract you get this so you are left with so you can factor this as x minus 10 times x plus 2 equals to 0 in that case by solving this you get x equals to 10 or x equals to minus 2 so now minus 2 is not valid <coughs> not valid so we'll not consider this we'll consider x equals to 10 right so now if x is equals to 10 then we know the rate or the time taken by each pipe so x is 10 therefore we see that b will fill with the speed of 10 right and a will do it in 10 plus 5 which is 15 and c will do it in 10 minus 4 which is 6 so time required by each pipe to fill the pool alone will be so many hours, correct? This is in hours, correct? <clears throat> so that's our answer, so many hours. Do you get it? That's how we see it. The most important part here is to first define our variables and then write this expression of rate, rate at which we are filling the swimming pool. So if the pipe takes x hours to fill the whole pool then in one hour one x one over x will be filled so that is the rate and we are just considering their rates rate of this plus this is the same as rate of c right so rate of a is one over x plus five and rate of b is one over x and when you add them you get rate of c which is one over x minus five so once we get this expression then equality then we just multiply all by the common denominator which in this case is x plus 5 so we multiply by x plus 5 times x times x minus 5 so basically this fraction x plus 5 gets cancelled off and you're left with x into x minus 4 here x gets cancelled off you're left with these two terms and there you are left with these two terms correct and then you expand and simplify one of the answers is not valid the answer valid is x equals to 10 so B is 10 hours, A is 5 more, and C is 4 less than 10. So we get our answer that pools A, B, and C take 15 hours, 10 hours, and 6 hours respectively to fill the indoor swimming pool alone. Thanks. I hope you understand.